Last week, the Royal Thai Air Force put forward Saab's Gripen EF fighter jet as the preferred choice to replace its aging fleet of F-16s, following a competitive evaluation between Saab and Lockheed Martin. After nearly 10 months of assessment, a service committee favored the Gripen, although government approval is still pending before any contracts can be finalized. Officials noted that the Swedish-made Gripen aligns well with the Air Force's strategic requirements. But what made the Gripen stand out over other options like Lockheed Martin's F-16 Block 7072? In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the Yas-39 Gripen, exploring its capabilities and how they might have influenced Thailand's decision. Let's dive in. The Yas-39 Gripen, developed by the Swedish company Saab Military Aircraft, is a multi-role fighter aircraft that first entered service in 1996. Renowned for its impressive balance of capability and affordability, the Gripen has proven itself against some of the world's top fighter jets. Over the past 28 years, Saab has produced more than 300 Gripens across seven different versions. The aircraft has gained international recognition and is currently operated by more than six countries, with several others showing interest in acquiring it. In 1979, the Swedish government initiated the search for a replacement for its aging Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Viggen aircraft. They required a new fighter that could reach speeds of Mach 2 while maintaining excellent short field performance, a lesson learned from observing the versatile capabilities of the Harrier Hawker. The designation YAS reflects the aircraft's intended roles. Yacht for air-to-air -air combat, attack for air-to-surface strikes, and spaining for reconnaissance, making it a truly multi-role platform. The Swedish military sought a design that was lightweight, highly maneuverable, easy to maintain, and cost-effective. This led to the development of a single-engine, single-seat aircraft with negative dynamic stability to enhance agility. The latest variant of the Yas 39 series received its military restricted type certificate in November 2022, confirming its military grade airworthiness. Called the Gripen E, this version has undergone significant enhancements, putting it on par with cutting edge fighters such as the Lockheed Martin F 35 Lightning II. Earlier Gripen models were powered by the Volvo Flagmotor RM 12 engine a licensed adaptation of the General Electric F404-400. This engine, known for its reduced weight and fewer parts, produced up to 54 kilonewtons of thrust without afterburners and 80 kilonewtons with afterburners, achieving speeds of Mach 1.8. In contrast, the Gripen E boasts the new General Electric F414G turbofan engine, which provides a robust 98 kilonewtons of thrust, allowing it to reach Mach 2. Despite its increased size and weight, the Gripen E maintains impressive agility due to the enhanced delta wing design with trailing edge elevons for improved short field performance. The aircraft features advanced fly-by-wire controls and can cover up to 3,200 kilometers with a service ceiling of 50,000 feet thanks to the 40% larger internal fuel tanks compared to previous models. What's more, reports show that its operational costs are usually much lower than many competing aircraft. The Gripen E is equipped with 10 hardpoints that allow it to carry a diverse array of armaments and mission pods, enhancing its operational flexibility. For air-to-air -air engagements, the aircraft can be armed with advanced missiles such as the AMRAM, ASRAM, Iris T and Meteor, among others. Its air-to-surface capabilities are equally impressive, with the Gripen E capable of deploying precision-guided munitions like the GBU-39 and GBU-49 bombs, as well as various unguided bombs and missiles, including the AGM-65 Maverick and MBDA Brimstone. What might be even more impressive is the fact that the Gripen E's new design supports rapid turnaround times, 10 minutes for air-to-air -air missions, and 20 minutes for air-to-ground operations, ensuring it can adapt quickly to evolving mission requirements. 
The cockpit of the Gripen E was also significantly upgraded, incorporating Saab's human-machine collaboration approach. This design optimizes pilot interaction with the aircraft's systems through a new hands-on throttle and stick setup, also known as the HOTAS system, minimizing distractions and enhancing situational awareness. The pilot also benefits from three multi-function displays, a wide-area display, and a heads-up display integrated into the helmet visor. Artificial intelligence software is now directly embedded into the cockpit's software to ensure that essential information is delivered precisely when needed. So, the Gripen E might be an impressive platform all around, but how did these capabilities influence the Royal Thai Air Force's decision? While the Royal Thai Air Force already operates earlier Gripen C and D aircraft, the Gripen E brings with it significant advances in capability the extent of which makes it almost an entirely new aircraft compared to its predecessor. The RTAF valued the Gripen E's advanced avionics, improved electronic warfare systems, and enhanced performance, including longer range and greater payload capacity. Moreover, the Gripen's integration with Thailand's existing defense infrastructure, such as the Saab-supplied National Datalink System and its flexibility for joint exercises, played a critical role. These factors outweighed the F-16's advantages, leading Thailand to favor continuity and upgrade within the Gripen family. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the latest defense news and analyses.